Rebels against the Empire. Forced into helping the rebels strike back at a small Imperial fleet, Blitz, Tex, and their new companion Shishgana must survive the incoming fight and rush to Jeddah if they are going to complete Pono Hut's job in time. Although secretly Blitz plans on making one last stop along the way. Alright, what are we looking at, Seg? Looks like you were right. This guy really wants your ship. Time to pile in. <laughs> All right, X-Wings, let's do this. Try and keep formation. And Blitz, try and stay out of the way. Ha! <laughs> You'll be trying to keep up with me, Dane. I think. Eh, she does all right. Good enough for me. Tex, get on the turret. Shashkana, do something. Yes, boss. Been looking forward to this. You'll want to get a couple of ties to peel off and pursue. Account for it ties with the cruiser and three more coming from then on. Alright. Dane, we'll take the three stragglers. Brace yourself, I'm gonna see how fast this ship can go. Dane, hurry up and get these ties off me with the crew. What happened? What happened? Looks like the cruiser brought an ion cannon. Oh, that's a bother. Alright, no time to worry about it now. Tex, incoming ties. Successful hit. Unsurprisingly, this turret is really very nice. Good. Shields are holding at 40%. Alright, now slow down a bit and let them catch up to us. I have a gift for them. Alright, but I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, let's focus. Tex, can you hit them as they're approaching behind us? Negative. I can't seem to. You have to rotate the mobile firing pins. What? Shoshana, shields are at 20%. If you're going to do something, do it now. Gladly. Music to my ears. All right, punch it. Ah, uh, it's stressing the engines. Wow. Just... wow. Indeed. Perfectly timed Shashkana. I see now why you like explosives so much. It is at times like this that I almost feel alive. Thanks. Looks like I hit all of them. Two down, last one looks in pretty bad shape. Perfect. Now, let's see how the rest of the battle's going. Dane? I've lost you. I can't... Ah! Okay. Blitz! Why did you turn your radio off? Yeah, not hearing that helps me focus. Anyway, I've dealt with... Blitz, they've got shield projector. The cruiser is pretty heavily kitted out and those tide pilots are pretty good. We need you to cover the core there. Still a minute out. Copy that. Shishkana, you got any more bonds? I could keep this up all day. Good. Show Tex how to work the turret while we maneuver. It seems we had the bad luck to run into a competent Imperial commander and I don't want to take any chances. I wonder who it is. Lieutenant Tan, sir. Ah, you, yes. Report. We disabled the jump mast from the inside and took the data banks. The Tridarian was less than hospitable. After a fight, he hid in the exhaust vents, we couldn't flush him out. Good. The Tridarian is from the scum. The data is what we want. Sir, the shield projector can't take much more. Hmm. Tell Onyx Squad they're on their own for now. Divert energy to the laser battery and detach us from the Jumpmaster. Um, Trooper, prepare to evacuate. Just in case. Firing lasers. Onyx has just lost another tie, sir. Hit. X-Wing destroyed. Good. Very good. Hailing the board. Pilot house from death to grasp me. Sir, my two squaddies are down and I have a rebel on my tail. Coming straight for you. It's a Um, Officer Alec, you deal with that for a moment. I think it's probably time I called my boss. <clears throat> yes, Dan. I trust you have possession of the job master. Yes. And no, sir. We have the data banks from the ship, but a rebel fleet has ambushed us. We need reinforcements. I see. Did I not tell you, rather explicitly, to take everything you needed to ensure this precise situation did not happen? But, yes, sir. But I didn't... Sir, shields are down. There's a ship coming in from behind us. It's about to cut us off. 
Well, it seems you have your hands full. Luckily for you, I expected this inevitability and I'm already en route. Try not to die, Tan. It would be such a shame if you avoided demotion. But I got the... Oh. He's gone. Sir, evac pods are ready. I'm not so sure to that. Sir, turns out the ship was a bomber. Critical systems are down. We have a hull breach. Never mind. Call an evacuation. Writing tickets might be a nice break. Looks like that one hit hard. Just so we're clear, that's three for three. It's almost too easy. All right, the engines are still a bit stressed. I'm gonna let them cool down. Shoshgana, take the controls and get us out of range of the fight. The the Corvette just rocked up. That's our cue to leave. You still want to go to Coruscant? Yeah, get us ready to jump. I need to find out what we're actually smuggling. Fine. But if Cuit tries to put his hands on me again, I'm breaking them. Who's Cuit? An idiot. You'll find out. Dane, are we good to go? Yeah, good flying is always blitz. That bomber suits you. I'm warming up to it. But you tell Seg I'm getting my ship back one way or another. Wait, wait, Blitz. I'm picking up an incoming ship. Wait, wait. Uh, probably nothing. Ready to go, Tex? Starting jump. I've never been to Coruscant. I hear it's nice. Before entering customs, attempting to smuggle any illicit goods or weaponry through customs is a serious offense. Hey, lady, watch where you're going! Ugh, I thought Coruscant might be a bit nicer. It's not. It only gets worse the lower you go. And we're going pretty far down. The surface is okay. I don't like it. It smells bad. Next! Good day. Names, please, and the reason you're visiting the lower Coruscant levels. We're Dane and Seg, and our droid is T3. We're here to see an old friend, so he can appraise a family heirloom for us. May I see the object? Sure. T3? What is it? I... <laughs> I have no idea. It was my auntie's. Uh, she's a lovely lady. She gave it to me last Empire Day. I, I think it's just decorative. Right. Fair enough. You got your papers? Right here. What in the... Wait right here. Oi, you! <laughs> Is that how you usually smuggle your way through customs? It's not very subtle. <laughs> no, that's not the usual way, but it's pretty amusing to be honest. And it's one less bomb to carry. Right, we don't have much time. An entrance like that causes trouble. Kewit's a couple of levels down from here. Uh, do you want to come, Shashkana, or do you want to look around? Ugh, look at what? We're in the slums. Alright, suit yourself. I hope everybody brought blasters, we're going to need them. Hewitt will be available in just a moment, Mr. Corden. So... He's magical, apparently. What? Hewitt. Supposedly it's some old Jedi trick. He can touch an object and see its past and its purpose or something. Wow. Really? No. He's a theatrical con artist. He even uses a voice synthesizer to sound more mysterious. Don't be fooled. Well, yeah, pretty much. But he might know what Pono gave us, so it's worth the time. Hewitt is available, Mr. Corden. If you and your friends will follow me, please. Have a weapon ready, Shishkana. Ah, Corden. And TX-15. Such a pleasant surprise. Come, sit. You have a new friend? Shiskana, though my friends often call me Hush. You didn't tell us that. Sit, sit. You want some tofu fruit? Strictly business, Kewitt, though it's nice to see you. We've brought you something to appraise. Ah, you want my gift, yes? My sight? Ah, TX-15. If only you would let me use it on you. The secrets I could learn from you, separatist secrets. Yes, yes. Keep your hands off me. And fiddle with this. We're not looking to sell, by the way. Well, aren't you going to touch it? Cue it needs not touch it. I know what this is, yes. 
Blitz. I will allow you to take anything from my store in exchange for this. Anything. I literally just said. I can tell you a secret. I can tell you where to find a treasure on a deserted boat. I can show you power. Yes. Why would I even need... No, you are right. Cue it not by. I no. Okay, good. All right, so... What is it? Oh, um, what's it worth? Hmm, yes. Value. Yes. First, Shushkana. Do you know who I am? Well, sort of. You know my name, but that is not me. I was born far away, on a lonely planet. Really? In time, I came to Coruscant, you see. This close to the seat of the Empire. It's not easy being a criminal. I take goods from other criminals and hold on to them. Value them and find a buyer. So, a fence. Yes. And everybody trusts Q with their goods. You know why this is? Because you... Because if Q would steal from anyone, or lie to anyone, I would have to leave my home. In fear of my life and escape back to my cold, dark, lonely planet. And no item is worth paying that price. Right. Interesting. Kind of. And this thing is... I tell you this, because sometimes the value of an item cannot be told. It must be shown. And today you have finally brought Kewit an item worth the price of theft. Recording. Listen, Kewit. Next time you're going to reveal a big betrayal, don't waste everyone's time with a thinly veiled build-up. It was boring. Ha! <laughs> but perhaps next time you listen listen to a story, you should not let a Wookiee sneak up on you. Wookiee? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> Tex, you okay? Yes. I told you meeting Cuba was a bad idea. Oh, maybe. Also, also, Shishkana, a thermal detonator is not the kind of weapon you bring into a small room. <coughs> well, it's not like you gave me that much warning. Oh, great. Well, cuba has gone with the... thing. Could this get any worse? Weapons down. Hands up. Meanwhile, back on Denon, after facing the rebels in space combat and demoting the upset but alive Lieutenant Tam, Baron Gundark sets to the task of proving that Blitzer's papers were falsified. Admiral Corso, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm forced to follow up on some suspected forger documents, naming a man as an agent of yours. Yes, Baron. Who are the papers for? Ah, uh, and nobody. I doubt you would even know them if they did work for you. It is a good-for-nothing smuggler named Blitz Corden. Blitz? Oh, yes. Fine chap. And an agent of mine, too. One of my best. Uh, uh, really? Blitz Corden? Oh, well... He's not in trouble, is he? Not the smuggling, I mean. He does that undercover so he can spy on the hut operations on Tatooine. I see. That makes sense. Uh, well, yes, it is a bit. You see, he's taken on a job for the huts. A very big one that's called the attention of uh, <clears throat> the Emperor himself. Really? Hmm. That's no good. Hmm. Let me handle this, Baron. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Given the nature of Blitz's work, I don't regularly maintain communications with him. But he's really a stellar chap. Hell of a pilot, too. And that droid of his saved my life more than once. I remember on one occasion, we were stuck on this sandy planet. Uh, I just can't remember what the name of it was. Hmm. It's a terrible well, place. Well, this is interesting. There wasn't anything there, but there was an interesting mill. Caught by the Empire! And, uh, After being betrayed by a strange and mystic Kewit, Blitz, Tex, and Shishkana have finally fallen into the hands of the Empire. But will the Coruscant authorities link them to their previous criminal endeavors, or will they manage to weasel their way out again? And where is Kewit and the item they've been tasked to protect? Find out next time on Blitz in Space! I